don't believe it. He's only got to run it down the run. That jingle, of course, signifies another reading from Carl Pilkington's diary. We went to the park and had a brew. Suzanne read the paper while I played with a ladybird. <laughs> I mean, it's like a child, isn't it? It is like what a child would like. Suzanne read the paper while I played with a ladybird. <laughs> His only friend is a beetle. <laughs> it climbed up my arm. It struggled on me hairs. This is in detail, then? Yeah, 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 yeah. It kept stopping every now and then and was rubbing its head with its right arm. It did it about four times and always used its right arm. It rested for about five minutes, then flew off. Sunday. Had a bit of a to-do with Suzanne because she wanted a lion today. I ate this. Once you're awake, you should get up. I got up and put the radio on really loud. She eventually got up. I told her insects don't have lions, so we shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, insect. you must be fucking unbearable to live with. <laughs> you must be a nightmare. No, I've just started, because I've watched insects a lot, I don't want to keep going on about them because we're a bit insect heavy. But at the end of the day, if we if we copied insects, we wouldn't go far wrong. I don't know what you mean, though. One minute you're saying they're great, then the next minute you'll slag them off. Yeah, I'll slag some of them off if I don't know what they're doing, but because I've studied them a bit longer... I just think they, they do. You haven't right. studied them. He, he thinks he's like Darwin. You, but you just slagged them off and again. Don't you think people, the insects are doing stuff? They're not. It yeah, goes there, then it goes back again. The ant was. The ant was messing about. But only that one. The others were carrying stuff. That's what I'm saying. These snidey ones in everything, in every everything in the world, you get a hierarchy. <laughs> oh, long words. Ooh. Some new sea thing has been found. <laughs> That's the headlines on the news. <laughs> it wasn't found by sea experts. It was found on eBay. Someone was selling it for a fiver. I don't see the point in buying something that you don't know what it is. What do you I... mean? What do you mean? It was... It was. Someone's found some sort of shell with a thing living in it. Right. Um, they thought, oh, I've never seen one of these before. I can flog it on eBay. Someone bought it and then wanted to look after it, went to some sea expert, and they said, oh, I don't know what that is. That's 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 the story. It's just weird how stuff's being found on eBay. No, it wasn't found on eBay though, was it? Yeah, but that's where the specialist people sort of picked up on it. It's just weird that. I mean, all, all I was saying is I wouldn't want one. If you don't know how to, if it's a new creature, you don't know what what makes it happy. When you get a kitten, you go stroke its head, loves it, right? And you can do that knowing that it's liking it. <laughs> if I had a little seashell, and you go, does it sit in water? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? You could end up doing more damage. So that's why I wouldn't want it. It's nice to have rules, isn't it? It's nice to know what you're doing with something. Well, as you write in the diary, it's like if an alien landed and wanted to live oh. with you. Oh, <laughs> as much fun as it might sound, it wouldn't be long before you got annoyed with it because it wouldn't eat the food you gave it. That's what I'm saying, but I couldn't have a go at it because it might not like pasta. <laughs> it might not. <laughs> Everyone likes pasta. Wow. Woke up to some interesting news. It's good when this happens, because it sets me up for the day ahead. If it's miserable news, it affects my day. It said on the news that they have found two new flies. <laughs> Fucking hell, more insects! What have you done? Is that all you've done this summer? Bong. Just... <laughs> trouble in the Middle East. Bong. Two new flies found. Ladybird climbs up arm. <laughs> they were found in the UK, <laughs> and they were found close to each other. Maybe this happened because they were different than the other flies and weren't expected to hang about together, so that's why they knocked about with each other. That would happen, wouldn't it? What do you mean? There's two new flies. <laughs> what do you mean? Does it mean there are two new flies that are a different species? species? Yeah, two new species, and they found them close to each other, right? Yeah, but they, they didn't mean there was one of each. No. Yeah, yeah, they did. They found two different ones. No. No, they have. Seriously, I know that. That's right. That's a fact. So you've got, like, I don't know the names of them. They give them odd names, don't they? Well, say <laughs> yeah. you call it A and Fly B, right? Yeah. Fly A, I don't know. Uh, was Say that's no. orange. <laughs> this is just... B. Fly B, yeah. No, this is but, painful. No, but this I'm just painful. making it easier but for Fly B wears okay. a little hat. He's got yeah, a little hat. Right, yeah, fine. Now, they found the orange one. I went, look at this over here. This is a bit weird. And they've gone, oh, that's a new species. Log it, whatever. And then the other one went, oh, whoa, 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 keep your pen handy. Look at this one, it's got hat on. So then they, they found them both within the same distance. 
I don't know what that sentence keep means. Keep going, keep going, keep going. They, no, found, let him both, finish. they I, found him both within the same both, distance. But without <laughs> interrupting him, let him finish this, no, this point. Let me just make one thing clear. Carl Pilkin just said, they found them both within the same distance. <laughs> Think of that! Don't know what it means, but go on, let him finish this, this point. So, so what I mean is... They weren't knocking about with other normal houseflies because they were probably sort of going, oh, he's a bit weird. Leave it. <laughs> yeah, because the other one was also odd, they're, not, they're hanging about with each other. Don't you understand that? Why is that such an odd concept? Because <laughs> you, think, you think of it as, like, two little um, uh, new kids in school. Yeah. They, they find out they're both new and they, they've got something yeah, in common. They're both, they're both goths, so yeah. they start hanging out together. Yeah. And this was on the news, was it? Yeah, just on the radio, yeah. I know if I looked into that story, it would be 90% wrong. Bit tired today, because didn't get to sleep as early as I wanted due to a moth getting in the bedroom. Fuck me! I got it in a glass and looked at it for a bit and then let it go because Suzanne wanted to go to sleep. Looked up some interesting news. Some people dug up an old body in Ireland. Turns out it's well old and was here when dinosaurs were here. The really weird bit is it had hair gel in its hair. Right, what is it? A fella. Well, no, it wasn't around when dinosaurs were here then. Just a bit after. Right, fine. A lot after, yeah, go on. It's not the age bit, that's amazing. It's the fact of, there's a fella, won't have even had shoes on his feet. Right. And yet he was worried about his hairstyle. Right, well, that's definitely not true either. There was a man on the radio doing poetry, says Carl in his diary. I thought I'd have a go at doing a poem about today. <clears throat> not really. Yeah, Steve, I'm, I'm a little bit queasy. He hasn't really written a poem. He's written a, a small poem. No, he hasn't really. Yes. If moths had eyes... <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> let, let me read the poem, OK? <laughs> oh, fuck. He wouldn't interrupt T.S. Eliot. OK, 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 OK. Oh, OK. If moths had eyes, would they be happier? How do they know they're not dead? <laughs> Cavemen hunting for food, but not before they style the hair on their head. What would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. Right. <laughs> it may be the greatest poem ever written. Is there a creative decision have, for that? Can we have Carl read that? By Sorry, means, yes. just, uh, no, just, just you read it as you would like to... So this is... Uh, imagine this, right? OK. This is going out all over the world. And now, um, Carl Pilgrim, new poet from Manchester now living in uh, London, England, would like to read a, a poem. If moths had eyes, would they be happier? <laughs> How do they know they're not dead? Cavemen hunting for food, but not before they style the air on their head. What would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. I think he feels as though the final line, I'd rather be a blind moth, is going to be one of those great, you know, those, it, a be... summation that the, somehow the moth is a metaphor, I'd the caveman. Be a blind moth. No, but there's no I'm metaphor doing, in that. He really does mean he'd, he'd rather, rather be, be a, a blind, blind moth. moth. Yeah, well, I'm just because I've looked at the day's news. Are you getting into poetry now, properly? I really like it, yeah. Right, I did two about jellyfish. Excellent. Uh, I don't like jellyfish. They're not a fish, they're just a blob. They don't have eyes, fins or scales like a cod. They float about blind, stinging people in the seas. And no one eats jellyfish with chips and mushy peas. <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> and then there's just a shorter one of the about jellyfish. Um, it would be spiteful to put jellyfish in a trifle. <laughs> yeah, it certainly would. Because it's jelly. He's, he's, he's done us there, yeah, Steve. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, a really yeah. good poem. Can we always do that, Carl? Can we always find a day, right, and always sum it up in, in your in thoughts, a poem. a poem, just like that? It would be spiteful 
to put jellyfish in a trifle. Yeah.